everybody and welcome back to another episode here for my Minecraft Hardcore Survival Series. How is everybody doing? Oh man, doing so good. Thank you all so much for all the love on episode one. We're over, I think, 145,000 views in like a day and over like 13,000 likes. And for someone who never asked for likes, that's a lot of likes. So let's do a little experiment today. If we get double the amount of likes today, I will do an MLG water drop right down here. I think I can survive that. I don't know. I think that was a mistake to ask for that. Okay, don't do it. Just in case if you do do it, I need to practice. Okay. Okay, perfect. Last episode, we built this awesome starter house. Yes, this is a starter house, technically version two. The legit starter house was that day one little shack hobbit hole thing that we did, which I gotta go back to and maybe upgrade. But as a house, technically, yes, it's, it's, it's the, okay. It's a little bit big for a starter house, but you know what? That's how we do it around here. Also, last episode, I asked you guys what I should name this beautiful kingdom over here. But our friend Aerie picked an amazing name, Mythgard. Oh, that's such a good name. Kind of reminds me of Isengard in Lord of the Rings or even Midgard when Thor calls uh, Earth. So Mythgard it is. Oh, so cool. That's an epic name. Thanks, Aerie. MLG water drop practice. Now, while we're here, we need to collect a lot of sugar cane because we have to start thinking about enchanting. Enchanting is very, very important. We need some OP stuff. We need some fortune. We need some silk touch. We're going to need a lot of efficiency and unbreaking. Now, sugar cane production has to get ramped up a little bit. Forest paper, eh, that's all we got. Actually, that's not bad. That might do it. Leather, on the other hand, um... Yeah, that's all we got. Oh, and did I tell you I organized my chest last night? It was very painful. But as of right now, this is uh, what I got. Uh, there's nothing there or there, but that's fine. We got cobblestone. We got all kinds of stuff. Uh, we do need to go collect more mats uh, because it's uh, really not that much. And okay, yes, this is a junk drawer. Yes, it is. But it's an organized junk drawer, right? Look at this thing. Now I just need to grab a couple mats and come down here and do a little bit of breeding. Hey, what's up, friends? Especially you. All hell blood sheep, a little quick breed job. And I wanna expand this uh, just a little bit. We're not gonna build a barn yet, but uh, eventually we will. But I'm gonna need a little bit more space to do breeding because we're gonna need a lot of leather. It's gonna expand from right here. Um, thank you for going back. Hey, pink guy, here you go. And there we go, something super simple. Let's just break this open and let them out. I do need to separate them, uh, especially that blood sheep. Gotta keep an eye on them. But for now, they can all just hang out in here. That's okay, just have another backup way out over here. Perfect. Now while those cow babies start growing up, we can breed again. We need to work on a way up and down from this mountain. Right now, I'm doing it like this. It's not fun. It takes a while too. And then from here, we got a ladder. And then from here, we just go up the side of this fake stairwell. It's not fun. So I think we should fix that. Now, if we want to keep up with the same theme we got here for the railings, we're gonna need a lot of spruce and a lot of dark oak. And right now, we have just this for spruce and just this for dark oak. Yep, it's time to chop up some trees. This is a pretty good start right here. Now, if we want to continue with the theme we have up there, we just need to make sure we strip that wood, make some barrels, stairs, trap doors, and slabs. And the way I want to do this, I want to have different levels, different elevations. So let's see, if we start right here on this edge, I got to make my way up here, right? So let's do a simple stair going up right about here. And then from here, we can go ahead and dig some of this out. Don't have a shovel right now. Don't judge me. Actually, I do have a shovel. Don't judge me again. And then from here, we turn this direction going up. And then once we get over here, we can tuck this back a little bit. Let's do a little bit of a platform right there. And then we go up this way. And now our shovel's gone. Okay, you can judge this now. One eternity later. Perfect. And then stairs going right back up. Then we get to this spot. Adding some logs, stripped of course, going up this angle. 
Also kind of surrounding this bit as well, I think would look pretty cool. And coming back down. I think up here at the top, just to change it up a little bit, we go with like a little bit of a strip right there of oak and a little bit of dark oak fence right there. Oh, that's looking good. Now for this side, we just kind of continue it up going this way. We got one in this corner. I think going up that much is perfect. Then we could bring some of the oak for this side, for this side, and then more fences right there. We can leave this open and then have a little bit of a path that kind of goes out this direction and kind of put like another platform kind of up here. We can use this to our advantage and just continue with the pathing going that way. Just have to get another shovel and uh, fix this weird edge. Now another cool little design bit is if we bring this one all the way down here and then we don't have to continue that going all the way down. We can just give it a two spacer like that and then just put some slabs underneath. And that looks pretty good. And then maybe we could do some upside down stairs and a little trap door there to get that archway look. What's that horse doing up there? For now, I don't have that little deep slate slab. So I'm just going to go ahead and put just slabs up here for now. But we will replace this later on. For this little corner, I'm going to do something like that. Ah, it's looking so much better right now. Now I'm thinking over here for this section, we can go with a little bit of a spiral staircase. Now all we got to do for that is just lift these corners here. Do a little three by three and just take it up. So I'm thinking in the middle here, we just go up with an oak log and make sure we do not perish. And then I just grab a stair, let's put it right here and I start curving it up. And we made it to the top right over here. Perfect. Then we just got to extend this to this side and done. Oh, baby. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, we got a little step up here going down to a little spiral staircase. I got to get rid of this ladder. And then down the spiral, we take this step down, this goes around, and down to this section. Oh, so pretty. What do you guys think? <laughs> so nice. I just need to add a little bit of barrel action and a couple little things, but it's done. Back to collecting sugar cane and more cow breeding. Ooh, it's growing. Fine, the sheep can get it too. Now, I promised my friend over here that we would connect this blacksmith to the ground. Even though we're going to completely remodel it, I need to do this. Let's uh, do this real fast. Oh, hi, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, it's okay. You're welcome. Fixed it. You like it? A lot better, huh? Yeah, don't worry. I'm going to make it look even better. And we're going to have ways up. Okay, you're going that way. Okay, listen. I will do a step up there later. I just did one over here, okay? Oh, he likes it. Look at that. What a lovely villager. Now, a really dangerous part of this village is this huge hole right here that villagers, I believe, have gone and died in. Uh, I think we lost one. It's fine. But I don't want it to happen again. So as the ruler of Mythgard, I think it's to our best interest to cover this up with some dirt. Dirt has been placed and it's a lot more safer right now. And I double dirted. That's right. My boy Fwip will be impressed. We'll make that look a little better later on. But for now, more breeding. Make it the baby. Thank you. Where did you get this blue cornflower from? Eh, it could be blue. Now let's go ahead and put some stuff away. We have a very important mission. Let's get some of these bones. Let's pack a nice meal. Uh, but we can't, so let's make bread for now. Because it's finally time to go look for our girl bubbles. The greatest dog in all the universe. It's time. We need to. If we don't find her now, I'm going to be very upset. I knew I had to get the stairs in place before I got her. She doesn't like to climb mountains. If you guys don't know who Bubbles is, oh man, that's my dog in real life. She's in Minecraft. That's right. She's here somewhere wandering the world and I got to find her. So let's take these bones and go on an adventure. Now the road to find Bubbles is going to be pretty far, I think. It's going to be pretty dangerous as well, but we're going to find ourselves a tiger like biome. I know that is her favorite spot to be and we can find her definitely, but I have to make sure we get rid of all kinds of danger along the way and also make sure no bad guys can pop out when we try to come back with our girl. So I found this stupid skeleton and they wouldn't want anything with me. I am the greatest adventurous swordsman in the history of Minecraft. Took care of that thing. But these bees though, there was a lot of bees. A little scary, <laughs> but not as scary as a birch forest. Sorry, Jim, but this is the journey that I need to take. I'm killing some cows along the way. Also taking a little swim, making sure I don't drown. But here we are. We found it, a taiga biome. I can feel her close by. Hello? Hi! A fox! Oh, you're cute! 
Oh, what a massacre! What did I walk into? Oh, hello? Are you Bubbles? No, Bubbles wouldn't have run away from me. You? Are you Bubbles? You look upset. Oh, you're gonna go kill that fox, huh? Yep, this is Bubbles. Girl! I can see from all the way over here this is you. What's up, girl? Oh, that's my girl right here. What's up, Bubbles? You know what? You don't have your custom skin right now, but that's fine. We'll do some magic later on. This is definitely Bubble. Oh, cute! <laughs> You're so cute! Oh, that's definitely you. Took forever to find you, girl. You don't know how far I've gone. Man, I've gone over mountains? More, more than one, like ten. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, we also got some berries you can take back home. Bubbles, let's get out of here, girl. You're cute. Now, Bubbles, I'm gonna let you know right now, the journey is gonna be rough. That's right, we're gonna go over big, huge terrain, mounds, big caves. Just stick by me, girl, I'll take care of you. And in seasons past, I was very overprotective of Bubbles. I hardly ever let her leave the house. This time, you're never going anywhere, girl. You're staying on, you're staying in Mythgard and you ain't going nowhere. Cause this place, oh man. You die from fall damage. You die from freezing. Rogue creeper, like always. You drown in a lush cave or something. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Protecting my girl. I got your favorite flower. Oh, here it comes. Magenta. Your favorite color. Get ready. Come here. Oh, you want that one? Okay, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll take all the magenta for you. Don't worry. But here you go. Bam. <laughs> oh, perfect. Can we get a hi, Bubbles, in the comment section? Bubbles is here finally in season three. Attack, Bubbles. Get him. Get that pig. Don't you run away from Bubbles, pig. Go, girl, go. GG. I gotta find a name tag somewhere. Bubbles, get this thing. I need leather. Gotta build an enchanting table when we get home. Get him. Thank you. Bubbles, it's right there, a brand new home. Look at it. You can see it from here. <laughs> Welcome. Let's get down there. Here we are, girl. This is Mythgard. Welcome, welcome. It is lovely, isn't it? This is your home right here. Uh, you, you know, my home, your home. You can share, right? I don't have to build your own castle or something. Or do I? I probably do. No, don't eat those villagers, okay? They're good. They're with us. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. Oh, nice teleport job. She has her magic touch. All right, girl. Hang out right over here. Where did you go? Hang out right here. You're the best. I gotta go mining for a little bit. The kingdom is yours. What do you think of this rug? Yay or nay? I think it looks cool. It's kind of messy. And before we go on a little journey, let's put this to cook. Now we're up to seven leather. Woohoo! How many books can we do with this? Seven. Not bad. Gotta do a lot more though. All right, I'll be back, Bubbles. On my way to do a little bit of mining and resource collecting. So I did a little bit of research. That's right, I watched a Slice Lime video, and in that video, uh, he was clearly saying that the best levels for diamonds is negative 59. That'll be the best spot. Right now, we're in 41. So we gotta go a little deeper. I'm thinking we just keep going right down here. Level 59 made us rich. <laughs> Check this house. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down this line, nine, 10, 11, 12. And down this line, 13, 14, 15. Oh, that's so good. Wasted too many pickaxes for this though. Deep Slate is rough. Now I won't be breaking any of these until we get fortune. Now before we headed all the way back up, I wanted to pay a little visit to this big Deep Slate cave we saw in the last episode. And these zombies, they weren't having it. They were like, Saucers, get out of here. This is my house. I was like, no, this is my realm right now. You get out. And guess what, skeleton? You're about to meet your maker too. You're about to die a quick death. Wapacha! Guess what? Also, in the background, you didn't think I saw it. But I did. I saw it. There's diamonds back there being guarded by that ugly old zombie. I'm going to pay a visit to that zombie and those diamonds later. This zombie also thought he was kind of slick, sneaking next to me like they were Sam Fisher. But guess what? I seen that video game. You ain't Splinter Cell. Here, have some of your dead body relatives right there. But this skeleton better stop it. This zombie also better stop it. That bat better get out of my way. I'm going to slice him too. This zombie, you know what? It was his birthday today. Happy birthday, but you're dead. And guess what? I am going to make sure we light this whole entire cave. Up. I don't care if every single mob in the game shows up. So that's what we did. Exactly what we did. We lit up this whole area really, really fast. Look at all these guys chasing me around. You know what? I am speed. I am sanity. You can't stop me. <laughs> that was fun. 
Now it's officially the very next day IRL and I've been doing a little bit of breeding. I even did a little separation over here for some reason the blood sheep are spreading right now. We just have one pink sheep. The rest are the almighty blood sheep. Oh hell. Alright Bubbles, time to get in. Get him! Get this one too! Give me that leather! Get to work girl, give me that leather! Get this one too right here! Get him! You won't see it coming! <laughs> oh, Bubbles is the best leather collector. That was zero leather. Bubbles, you're not really good at leather collecting. I'll do the rest. Give me leather! Eleven. Huh. This is gonna take a while longer. Oh, you look like you've been beat up. Who's been beating you up? Let me know. I'll take care of them. Here you go. You're welcome. And so far, 28 leather. Let's see how many books that is. That brings our count to 35. So technically, we only need, what, 15 bookshelves? We're so close. We have 11. Okay, you know what? We'll keep grinding that out. But I got an idea what to do in the meantime. I'm gonna break this part off right over here. And we're gonna make a little stairwell going down. And I think right up here at the top, we can build our enchanting tower. We just need to make a little stairwell like we did down below. Look at that. It is looking so good. We have a nice way up to the top of the mountain now. Still got to do a little bit more detail work, like adding barrels and stuff like that. But this feels so good. Going all the way to the top, we're going to go ahead and blow up these two guys. But with uh, my ex and pink ex. <laughs> no idea where the villager is that was up here last time. I should have sealed them in. Eh, whatever. And it's gone. Right on time. Look at that beautiful moon. It's a normal size though. It's snowing, villagers! It's snowing! Look at that. Did I hit anybody? Can I get that horse? I got the horse! Oh no! Sorry! Sorry! Oh no. These are way too dangerous for me. And now it's time. Let's build ourselves an enchanting tower. Let's go! What do you think of the enchanting tower? Oh man, rate it one out of 10 sausages right now. I think this has to be my favorite enchanting tower of all time. I love it. I love the color palette. I love the little copper accents, the dark oak, the deep slate, a uh, little wizard like top hat to that thing. It looks so good. On the inside, this is all I got. I don't have a way to get access to the top floor, but you know what? We'll find a way to get access there later. I think once we get Elytra, do like a little hot air balloon landing pad up there. But for right now, the bottom is all set up for our bookshelves. We just need to make a few more. I love this little platform here on the top as well. We can always expand this direction, which we are definitely going to do. And there's a goat up there. Hi, go! I'll bring him down later. Also, I extended the little platform up here, which looks so cool. Now, I just have one idea. How would this look? MLG practice. Perfect. Oh, that looks really nice. Oh, kind of like that. I might extend it right to that side too. Yep, that looks really cool. Now, another thing we could do out here, just to dress this up and make it look a little bit more alive, it's just adding a little bit of moss going down like so. We could break some of this up as well and add a little bit of coarse dirt, a little bit more bone meal. Look at that, 10 times better. You can even sneak one up here and bone meal. Oh, there it is. Quick and easy detailing with your boy, Sausage. Now let's do one last breed job, and I think this might do it. A little bit of light murder. Now hopefully this is enough. Yes, perfect. Now let's go look for some obsidian. Here it is. Woohoo! Here we go. We did it. Enchanted table acquired. <laughs> let's go ahead and put this up in our tower. Oh, the views is getting better and better every single day. Look at that. Here we go. So let's drop our books here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. What do we do with this now? Bum, 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 and bum. That should do it, right? Drop it in the middle. Check. Does it get to 30? Yes, it does. Oh, efficiency four. And I have 29 levels. I'm so close. 
Just make this pretty for one second and I'll go hunt for some more levels. That's pretty good for now. Does this give me levels? Yes, it does. I know it will give me more levels. Let's smelt some more cobblestone. Oh, and pork chop. Come on, I need 30 levels. Give me 30 cows, please. I am so close. Blood sheep, it's all up to you. Please, give me. No, that's it. Ugh. Bubbles, I need one level. Then we'll get that cobblestone. And this is it. Please. Yes. What? We took the upstairs. So close now. Yep. Yeah. Oh my. Come on now. All right. I think with the blood sheep one more time. And I think we're good. All right. This is it. This is it. We're doing this right now, blood sheep. Give me 30 levels. Give it to me. Yes. <laughs> our first 30 levels came from blood sheep breeding. Now let's go enchant our first pickaxe. Here we go. The moment of truth. This first enchantment is going to set the tone for every single enchantment across the whole galaxy in this world. If we get a good first enchantment, it's nothing but good luck. If we get a bad first enchantment, I'm going to blow up this whole place. Now nah, I'm lying. This place is too pretty to blow up. I'll just be really sad. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Please, fortune, preferably. Silk touch, I'll take it. But please, give me something good. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yeah, baby! This is what I'm talking about. Nothing but good luck in this series. Also, name this pickaxe in the comment section. Thank you so much. Let's go get those diamonds. I got the best luck in the world. I can't believe this. Oh, bubbles. Oh, I'm going to let her know. Let's go, baby. Oh, I'm so happy right now. I can't wait to break those diamonds up. <gasps> and copper. I forgot about copper. Give me all of your copper. Look at this. Are you serious right now? Look at all that copper. Lapis. <gasps> Emeralds. Oh, this fortune everything along the way. Two emeralds from that. Come on now. More copper. Now give me your best guesses in the comment section. What is the total amount of diamonds I'm going to fortune out of all the ones we've seen here so far? I'm excited. Right, let's go. That looks like a lot. That looks like a lot. I'm not gonna look at it yet. Oh, baby. Here's the last one from the strip. Oh, it's so good. I hear the riches flowing. Now let's get the one from that very dangerous spot. There it is. Don't do it. It's not worth it. I tried. No, gimme, 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 gimme. How many we got? One, two, three, four. Oh, perfect. Now let's get out of here before uh, we die. Here we go. Big reveal time. How many diamonds do we have right now with our fortune three? Pickaxe. Bubbles, what do you think? 32! That's it! That was four to three! I should have had at least a stack of diamonds from that. Ah, right, whatever. Better than nothing. But that is it. That is all there is to it. Me and Bubbles are out of here. Next episode, we're gonna get even more rich. And maybe we build some stuff for our blood sheep. What do you think? How about a mining entrance? Oh, all right, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Catch you on the next one. Goodbye. Say bye, Bubbles.